Hi, today we're going to be finding out who can make the better science fair experiment. Yep, we are going to be building a mock volcano to explain the science behind an eruption. Sounds kind of kinky to me, so... We are now taping the premature volcano to the board. Uh, this is the base of my volcano. You can tell it looks like it's coming in shape now. Why your ball one big, one small? Real balls, right? You know, testicles? Okay, never mind. They're kind of uneven, so I'm kind of making it as realistic as possible. Too long already! La. It's confirmed gonna break! La. Your dick is gonna fall apart before the eruption happens. No, no, no. That's how it always looks at first. Then it gets really hard and solid when it dries up. And when you put in more effort with your hands, and then it explodes, huh? It doesn't dry up, lah. What are you talking about? I know, but you see, the more I stroke it, right, the harder it gets. Hey, it feels never hard, eh? You wanna feel it? No. Just touch it, just touch it, lah. It will collapse for sure. Hi, welcome to my science exhibit and I'm now going to demonstrate how like a volcano will erupt in real life. First, I'm going to add the colouring for effect. Look like lava, I guess. And this thing, bicarbonate of soda, is supposed to be part of what causes the reaction. Like, is it something that... Uh, like in the core of the earth and then like it gets too hot not too hot, like there's no space or so, something like that and then <laughs> causes the volcano to erupt. I don't know, I forgot! For the final part of my exhibition, I'm going to add this. This is supposed to cause the reaction. I think I, I think like, it's like vinegar and the bicarbonate of soda that mix for the chemical reaction so that the volcano will finally erupt. Chua look like ice kacang with strawberry shake. I have no idea. Is it like the dormant? Is it active? And the last one, I have no clue. Like the dead ones lah. Yeah, but I don't know what the term is. Now my volcano is dormant for the time being. And... Uh, I'm trying to wipe away the excess so it doesn't dirty the table. But I think my ex exhibit is a success. Today, ladies and gentlemen, by fusing in art and science, we have come up with a beautiful new form of volcano, which I would like to call... Pinal... Pinalaje. Yeah, found in off coast shores of Fiji. Pinalaje is actually a volcano in the shape of a penis. Should go wiki that out, yeah. So anyway, this is uh, gonna be the concoction which will explode and form my lava. Uh, this is the cherry red colouring. Not suitable for drinking, so I won't try it out. Okay, this goes in first. Uh, this is the bicarbonate, bicarbonate of soda, otherwise known, as my mother would tell me all the time, baking soda, which is made for baking cakes. Wow, baking soda. I'm gonna pour it into my extremely large Pina Laje. Uh, I'm supposed to use one full bottle. Okay, I would know this because I do science. Okay, or oh, you promised me kids, you want to talk back and comment on this? <laughs> You're all wrong. So, if you're ready to see the lava, here we go. Wait, this this one explode on me, right? I've done this before, lah, but it's just yeah. Um, don't try this at home. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, it didn't come out from the top. <laughs> it just looks like it's really bleeding now. I feel really bad for it. Um, Pina Laje, as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, is a volcano. Volcanoes are plates which have shifted together around the earth and formed a very large um, hill. 
Yeah, and then basically what happens is lava from the core of the earth flows out to the top. But in the special case of Pina Laje, there are actually holes in the volcano, so it comes out at the bottom. This, my friends, may surprise you because not all volcanoes are like this. But this is why I'm sharing Pina Laje with you. Uh, this is a very simple question. Now, according to Wikipedia and new found stuff, there's actually four types of volcanoes. Pina Laje. The one that killed the dinosaurs. The one that killed many people in Hawaii. And... I'm not sure of the fourth one, but I got three out of four, so that's quite okay. I think KK's volcano uh, reflects on her personality. Colourful, simple. I'm not simple. Uh, I'm trying to make this work, man. <laughs> Colourful. I think Paul's volcano really reflects like really well on his personality as it's chaotic, unexpected, but still quite gross, yeah. I like that, thanks. Mm -hmm.